Hey guys, in this video we'll be looking at tourism, right? So we are underneath the topic of tourism, right? Now, what is tourism? Tourism is a business of providing services to tourists, okay? Now, tourists are people who travel away from their normal place of residence for reasons other than for work, right? Now, tourism is an industry that offers products providing experiences of landscapes, cultures, and heritage where, you know, it's not available where um, they normally reside, right? Now, travelers are classified as stopover tourists. Now, if they stay more than 24 hours at a destination as visitors, if they stay less than 24 hours, and excursionists, if they if they visit a place but sleep elsewhere, for example, on a cruise ship or a yacht, right? So in addition to the above classification of tourism, right, the tourist industry also recognizes um, international tourists who travel outside the geographical region of their home. And then you have those who travel, regional tourists who travel within the geographical region of their home. And then you have the domestic tourists who travel within their own country, right? So next we'll be looking at types of tourism, right? So you can understand, get a better understanding. So we're going to just list them out and then we get into detail with each and every one of them. All right. So first we have all inclusive tourism. Second, we have community based tourism. Third, we have timeshare tourism. Fourth, we have cruise ship tourism. Fifth, independent tourism. And sixth, nature and ecotourism. Okay? So first, we'll be looking at all-inclusive tourism. So let's get right into it. All-inclusive tourism, what is this? Now, the definition of all-inclusive is something where nothing is left out and where everything is considered or a part of the package, right? An example of all-inclusive is a resort where your drinks and meals are offered to you for free, right? As part of your reservation at the resort. Okay, let me explain this to you. Now, all-inclusive tourism Products offers um, everything that a tourist requires in one location, or one resort location to be exact, right? Now, resorts include hotels or other forms of um, accommodation like food, halls, restaurants, coffee shops, ice cream parlors, um, spas, shopping malls, and, you know, even places of entertainment and even the beach as well. Right? So that's all-inclusive tourism. So next, we're going to look at... We're going to look at community-based tourism. What is this? Community-based tourism is where you have... <clears throat> in which, you know, you have the local residents, which is often rural, poor, and economically marginalized. Now, they normally invite tourists to visit their communities with the provision of overnight accommodation. Now, the residents earn income as land managers, entrepreneurs, uh, service and produce providers, and employees, right? Okay. Now, explaining this to you now, um, community-based tourism aims to, you know, encourage travelers to stay in places other than tourist resorts and such as, you know, hotels or even motels and to experience life within a community. Accommodation is offered by local operators in smaller hotels or bed and breakfast establishments, as I said, within a community. Now, the aim is to really forge, you know, closer relationships um, closer, closer relationships between host and visitor. Now, this encourages um, sharing of culture and ideas, right? And sometimes tourists um, appreciate that, okay? They appreciate it very much. So that is why it is, um, I 
I would say it is a niche market. I think it um a lot of persons, not a, everybody own hotel, but some persons would just appreciate just the simple things of life with just living in a community in a different country. So that is what they offer. Okay. All right. Moving right ahead. Next, timeshare tourism. I know most persons don't know what that means, so I'm going to give you the definition and then explain. A timeshare is the right to occupy a unit of real estate property. And this is such as a um, condominium or vacation home during a specified number of separate time periods. Okay? <clears throat> Sorry. Now, in timeshare or vacation ownership, individuals or groups purchase a right to stay in a property for a given period of time. And this is usually like within a week rather than a share of property itself. The timeshare, and when I said a share of property, most persons don't really like going to hotels. They don't like even going to the community um, tourism place where they have to share anything with anyone. They just want their property for themselves, right? So timeshare would be perfect for persons like those, selfish persons, <laughs> okay? Anyway. The timeshare allocation can be sold on, um, and can often be exchanged for a similar period in another resort location. If they don't like the location that was selected for them or the one they had chosen, they probably don't really like it and want to change it. They can, right? But I think it's for persons who really have money, a lot of money to waste. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so... Moving on, we're going to look next at we're going to look next at um cruise ship tourism. Okay, I think most persons know this one, especially since we're all in the Caribbean. I think you would know it. Now, what is cruise ship tourism? Now, cruise tourism, a luxurious form of um traveling involving an all-inclusive holiday on a cruise ship of at least forty-eight hours. Right. Now, according to specific itinerary in which the uh, cruise ship calls at several ports or cities back to the top all right so cruise passengers they normally travel on a cruise ship visiting different countries during um the course of their voyage right and uh, as i said before now they will usually call into a port for a day and perhaps visit nearby shopping plazas or take arranged excursions to other tourist attractions right now they sleep and eat most meals um on the cruise ship so the way in which they spend their money is different to that of um other tourists right okay next up we have independent tourism now these leisure tourists are you know independent planning their own travel itinerary or route right without the assistance of a group tour pre-arranged schedule or other group settings such even as a tour guide they don't need a tour guide to do all of that for them okay so we're going to get into independent tourism now many people travel independently this means that they do not rely on a travel agent or a tour guide or a tour operator to organize any of their transportations or accommodations but they carry out their own research bookings and their own purchasing as well they don't need persons to help them do that persons who really want to go out and really experience other things all by themselves right all right so that's it for independent tourism all right so next up we have <clears throat> nature and ecotourism and i believe this is a last one we have other tourism you know but these are the ones i choose to list so you can also look up um i don't know where else maybe i have a social studies book you can look up um the other tourism but these are the ones i list now independent tourism sorry not independent tourism we're now looking at nature and ecotourism right so moving on ecotourism is a form of tourism involving visiting fragile, pristine, and relatively undisturbed natural areas, okay? Now, what do we mean by this? 
we're going to look at what is ecotourism, nature and ecotourism at that. Now, ecotourism has two main functions and appeals, right? It seeks to cater to those persons who are um, interested in the environment and in animals and even plant life. Now, the Caribbean has many different attractions, such as rainforests, coral reefs, wetlands, bird sanctuaries, and the nature reserves. Now, ecotourists are concerned about the environment and want their holiday to be, you know, like eco-friendly. So everything has to be eco-friendly. Now, this means, for example, that a resort will be um, constructed from sustainable materials and use renewable energy. So these are the things they would like to surround them while they're on their vacation. Okay, so now... What we need to understand though, where the types of tourism are concerned. Now, the tourism industry offers a range of products, right, that cater to a variety of um, tourist requirements. Now, enjoyment for some tourists is found simply in experiencing new sites and sounds and cultures. So that is why they do, um, they do visit other countries, especially within the Caribbean, because the Caribbean is really beautiful. Not because we are here, and we don't appreciate it. Other persons from other countries appreciate the Caribbean. So that is why. And, you know, it helps us a lot as well. But anyway, that's it for tourism. Okay? So, in my next video, we are going to look at... Um, I'm going to tell you. We are going to look at uh, next... Um, Factors influencing Caribbean tourism, right? That's what we're going to look at next, okay? All right, guys, thanks for watching my video. If this video was helpful to you, you can like it. You can share it to other persons doing the same subject because sharing is scaring, guys, okay? Share the subject, um, share the video so persons can get, um, they, they can also be a part of um, something very good you know just share the video and help someone and also you can subscribe or you can have that person subscribe as well because without subscribing you cannot know when i release a new video okay all right thanks for watching guys bye